Hi, Dave Odell here for the Shop Now Network. We are inside the Daytona Flea and Farmers Market Antique Mall, and we are here at the booths right now. Booths, I should say, of all this wonderful stuff of Oscar's estate jewelry. Oscar, how are you doing today? I'm doing well. How about yourself? I am doing fantastic. I'll point out some of this. This must have taken years and years to collect here. Point out some of these. Uh, these are gold coins right now. I see it looks like you got a standing Liberty coin as well. This is an original standing Liberty, $20 St. Gaudens, and a 14 karat gold bezel with diamonds. I also have them on their own. I have a few other gold coins, like a 1915 Austrian gold coin, a gold coin from Venezuela, Krugerrands, the common bullion gold coins, 50 pesos coins from Mexico, Gold bars, bullion bars, Lady Fortuna, Pomp Suisse, many of the classics, newer and older, so on. Okay, I see you have many swords up on the walls there. Uh, are some of those, is one of those from the Civil War? That's correct. Two of those are actually from the Civil War. This one on the right here is a Union sword from the Civil War. And this one here on the left is actually a Confederate sword from the Civil War. Wow, and they are still in the scabbard as well, too. Now you've got plenty of, of, of necklaces there. Yes. And here you've got lots of watches as well, too. I do, and I actually have more to put out. Uh, more to put out. Well, now moving down here, if we could, um, one of my favorites that I just spotted a few seconds ago is the pack of cigarettes with the presidential seal yes. on them. So tell us about that. So those cigarettes at a time when smoking was more uh, acceptable and popular. Glamorous. Yes, glamorous. <laughs> those were given on Air Force One. And those appear to be probably Nixon era cigarettes. So I believe Reagan was the last president where you could get cigarettes on Air Force One. But that this is a typical cigarette pack of the time when you flew Air Force One as a guest and so on. Wow, that's that's totally awesome. Now we got lots of rings here as well. Too. How long have you guys been doing the estate sale and selling uh, gold and jewelry? And uh, how long have you been in business here? So over 30 years. I should should maybe even say over 35. But I want to put it as 30 as when things really started to get established and going here. Okay, I see you have some safes down here. Is that where you stash everything, or, or are you trying to sell those as well? No, I need those. I can't sell those. I need those to stash, and I use them all. Okay, so you're not going to give us a combination then. Okay, then not a problem. <laughs> now, you have some belt buckles down here and some pocket watches as well, too. What are some of the oldest pocket watches that you have down there? I would say the oldest would be 1850s, 1860s. There may be one in there that's a little bit earlier driven by a chain called a Fuji. That's an early form of a pocket watch in general. Wow. Now, all sorts of stuff here. This will just blow your mind with all the jewelry that they have here and all the collectibles. They've got clocks, uh, swords as well, too. Older clocks along here as well. And uh, they've got a little bit of everything, including those cigarettes that were on Air Force One at one time. So stop by and check it out at Oscars Estate Jewelry inside the Antique Mall right here at the Daytona Flea and Farmers Market.